Let's all share the good news with the Holy Family Daily Gospel Reflection Podcast with your host, Yvette Celeste. And I'm Haley. Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Holy Family Daily Gospel Reflection. My name is Yvette Celeste. And I'm Haley. And this is Haley. And she and I are going to open and share the gospel with you and your family. Well, why don't we get started with prayer in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to you, O Lord. We give you thanksgiving and praise for you are our Lord. You have come for us all, and we lift our hearts to you, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Eternal Father, we ask to guide us all, lift us all, shift us all, shape us all in your holy presence. Lift us, O Lord, in the Holy Spirit, in the sanctifying grace of your Son, Jesus Christ, in your mercy that endures forever that we praise, and in your goodness, which is everlasting, that we rejoice in. We give thanks to you in your hearing. Hosanna in the highest. And we sing your praise, O Holy Spirit, O glorious Spirit of God. We give you thanksgiving and praise, for you have come for us all, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit, come and renew the face of the earth and kindle the fire of every heart. Fill the hearts of the faithful and kindle us all in the fire of your love. Send forth thy spirit and they shall be recreated. Pour forth your holy love, O Lord, in every area of the world. And we ask for Jesus. We ask for the Lord in our hearts. Lord, we lift every area of the world into your sacred heart. We lift Ukraine and Russia, and we lift every grad student. Congratulations if you have a grad at home or if you are one. We lift every area of their studies to glorify your holy name, and we lift every child that is in school in homeschool, in person school, in online school, wherever you are attending school, we lift every student into the sacred heart of the Lord. We ask, O Lord, for your graces, for your love to pour forth through every area of the world and the infinite merits of the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Immaculate Heart of Mary to pour through every family to guide us all, to attend Mass faithfully, to glorify the name of the Lord, and to receive you in the sacraments, in baptism, in reconciliation, in confirmation, and especially in the Holy Eucharist, in the Holy Body and Blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we trust in you. We thank you in your hearing. Hosanna in the highest. Haley, do you have any special intentions for the Sacred Heart of the Lord today? You. Thank you. I place you in the Sacred Heart of the Lord. We place all children into the Sacred Heart of the Lord and all family members. Everyone listening to the podcast, every family member in our families, we place every family because all belong to Jesus into the sacred heart of the Lord. Lord, you have the words of eternal life, as was spoken by St. Peter, the apostle, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced you are the Holy One of God. In the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verses 68 and 69. Lord, we lift our hearts to you in great praise, in great adoration of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And as we place all of our own special intentions into the sacred heart of the Lord, we ask for the prayers of the Holy Family. We ask for the prayers of Mother Mary, Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. We lift every intention into the Sacred Heart of the Lord. And as we do, we ask for the prayers of the saints and the holy men and women who pray for us all. 
Thank you for your holy intercession over everyone. And we ask for the holy embrace of the angels and the archangels led by St. Michael the Archangel and their holy intercession over us as we thank them for their prayers. We give thanks and praise to God who sent them for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. God, you have given us your son, Jesus, and you have sent Jesus to be with us, walk among us, and that is what we rejoice in. We rejoice in the life of in his bitter passion, in his resurrection and ascension. We rejoice in the Paschal mystery, O Lord. We rejoice in the Lord. And we rejoice that he will come again, and this time in his glory. Lord, you so love the world that you have blessed us with your Son and given us the graces of the Lord. And we give thanks to you, O Lord, in your hearing. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And with all names in heaven, because all names in heaven praise the Lord. Let's say glory to God in the highest on the count of three. With every name in heaven in solidarity with the heavenly host. Ready, Haley? Ready, everyone out there on the count of three. One, two, three. Glory to God in the highest. Woohoo! And peace to his people on earth. Amen and hallelujah. Today we are going to read from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 22 through 30. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was, it was winter, and Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you're the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe, because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Haley, for reading that for us. You're welcome. Okay. So as we get started, we lift our hearts to the Lord in great praise. We turn the word into prayer and praise. And that's a little like Lexio Divina. As we turn the word into prayer, we give thanks to the Lord for his living word. Glory to you, O God in the highest. Glory to you, O Lord. We lift our hearts to you and we give thanks and praise for you have come for us all. And Lord, we lift every area of the world, every person in every country, and especially those who may not understand how incredible is the living word of God. How incredible it is to receive you in the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, to receive you in the Eucharistic celebration, to receive the Holy Spirit in baptism and in confirmation. Lord, we praise you and we offer this act of pardon for we adore, we believe, we hope, and we love thee. We beg pardon for those who may not adore, may not believe, may not hope, and may not love thee, may not trust in thee, and may not praise thee. We give you thanksgiving and praise for you have come for us all. In Jesus' name, amen. And as I ask the Holy Spirit, O Holy Spirit, show us all, O great Lord, O Holy Spirit, Guide us all in helping each one of us to understand how we can glorify your name. O oh, Hosanna in the highest. Jesus has come for everyone. And Jesus, who is speaking to 
the Jews who have gathered around him and have said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus, who answers them, says, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. Jesus gives us eternal life. We hear his voice. We know him and we follow him. And that is what the Lord loves to see, is that we act upon the word of the Lord. The living word of the Lord is living in every way. The living word of God goes before us and is written in our hearts. As we open and share the gospel messages, as we invite others to mass, as we invite others to baptism, as we invite all to receive the glorious call of the Lord, the Eucharistic celebration, that is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are guiding others to follow the Lord. And it is the Lord who is doing the calling. It is the Lord who is asking us to follow him, to act upon his living word. And that is true for all ages. That is true for all generations. Jesus came for all of us. And as all belong to the Lord, every one of us belongs to Jesus. Lord, we ask for mercy wherever needed in the world. We ask for your love to pour through every heart and every country who may not understand that Jesus is Lord and that the Father and you are one, that Jesus is one in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We lift every child, every man and every woman, every dad, every mom, into your sacred heart. And we ask, O oh Holy Spirit, to guide every heart to say yes to the Lord, to follow the Lord, and to come to Mass and receive the Lord in the Eucharist. And sign up, register, make haste to do so in the sacramental prep classes if they have not partaken in the Eucharist. To receive you, Lord, is the greatest gift of all. Is to receive your Holy Spirit. There is nothing like it. There is nothing higher than to receive the very body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. To receive the Holy Spirit, the very presence of God the Father and God the Son. And that is exactly what we receive in baptism. That is who we receive in baptism, is the Holy Spirit, the sanctifying grace we are grafted in to the mighty presence of the Lord himself. We are his. We belong to him. Let's make haste to act upon the word of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. The Father and I are one. Jesus reveals the Father. The Father reveals the Son. And the Holy Spirit reveals them both. The Holy Spirit reveals Jesus is Lord. And that's what we're seeing here is the witness of the Holy Trinity. The Father and I are one. In the living word of the Lord that came for us all is written in our hearts. For nothing can snatch us out of the Lord's hands. We belong to him. All of us belong to the Lord. Let's trust and act upon the word of the Lord. That is following the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless us and keep us. May his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May he look kindly upon us and grant us all his peace. Lord, grant us all your rest. In Jesus' name, amen. Haley, do you have any Bible verses you want to share with us? My peace be with you. That's right. And let the children come to me. Amen. There's two of them. And God loves you. 
Oh my gosh, such wisdom. Okay, so my peace be with you. Not as the world gives, do I give, is the word of the Lord. And let the children come to me and do not prevent them. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. This is an all out call for baptism. It is also an all out call for from the Lord himself, a glorious call of the Lord for us to become like children in humility and obedience to God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. And God loves you. Amen. Amen. God loves you. He loves you. He loves me. He loves us all. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. Let's lift our hearts to the Lord in great praise, in great adoration of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, who are one. In Jesus' name, amen. And may God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Bye, families. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 b